Thank you for joining me, Vicky Higgins, on Thursday the 4th of March for today's reflection. And the passage today we're looking at is from John's Gospel, chapter 7, verses 1 to 13. So we'll start there. After this, Jesus went around in Galilee. He did not want to go about in Judea because he knew the Jewish leaders were looking for a way to kill him. But when the Jewish festival of tabernacles was near, Jesus' brothers said to him, Leave Galilee and go to Judea, so that your disciples there may see the works you do. No one who wants to become a public figure acts in secret. Since you are doing these things, show yourself to the world. For even his own brothers did not believe him. Therefore Jesus told them, My time has not yet come. For any time will do. For you any time will do. The world cannot hate you. But it hates me because I testify that its works are evil. You go to the festival. I am not going up to this festival because my time has not fully come. Having said that, he stayed in Galilee. However, after his brothers had left for the festival, he went also, not publicly, but in secret. Now at the festival, the Jewish leaders were watching for Jesus and asking, where is he? Among the crowd, there was widespread whispering about him. Some said he is a good man. Others replied, no, he deceives the people. But no one would say anything publicly about him for fear of the leaders. This is the word of the Lord. So the passage is about Jesus living in the world as fully human and fully God. And it resonates strongly with the teachings that we've done from Ephesians. In the passage we hear that people are questioning, who is Jesus? Is he a good man doing magic? Is he a good man doing good deeds? Is he a bad man? Or is he God? We hear at the start of the passage that some of the Jewish leaders were filled of with human traits of jealousy and fear of losing power. And they were plotting to kill him. They were unable to open their eyes and hearts to Jesus and to God. And their rejection of him would ultimately cause his death. Jesus in this passage is encouraged by his disciples to go to the festival. They are of the view that seeing is believing and Jesus as a public figure needs to be present publicly to bring people to know God. I guess they're also aware that Jesus is fully human and fully God. And so it's not really possible for Jesus to go anywhere without revealing God. God is what God does and God is love. Jesus is what Jesus does and Jesus is love. Jesus is God. So the dilemmas are which bits of the truth do we reveal at which points or for Jesus what does he reveal and when? He knows that his presence reveals the presence of God and he knows that causes threat and anxiety in the world. He knows it will bring about his death and his resurrection. At that point the disciples don't know that. They knew the first part of his mission which was to reveal God in the world. But the second part, his death and rising again for our salvation, was not yet revealed to them. And it's the second part that led to Jesus going in secret. We hear later that Jesus, despite going in secret, does teach at the festival and reveals God in that setting. But this passage is from just before that. And it ends with us hearing about the crowd's wonderings about who God is. John is telling us that people have struggled with knowing who God is from even when they were in his presence. So, and ultimately, there needs to be a choice. Knowing who God is leads us to make choices. If God, if Jesus is a good man doing good things, I guess like a mentor, we pick and choose when we follow his example. Of course, if Jesus is God, then when we choose God, we choose God. 
We have to follow him in all parts of our lives. The good news for us is that we've got the end of the story. Those people in the crowd did not know that Jesus would die and be raised and rise again. But we do. We know that death is not the end. And we know that in the years since Jesus' life that God revealed clearly his, himself through the works of Jesus. Through his birth, his life and his death. We have more information to make our decision. So we look at Jesus. We look at Jesus through his Bible, through our prayers. And we will have made that decision that Jesus is God. And by making that decision, we make a decision to follow God. And the good news is that we're not alone. Choosing to follow God means that we become saints. We become brought into God's love. We experience a full spiritual relationship with God. The Holy Spirit helps us channel God's love into the world. And so we, in turn, reveal God in our world today. So as we move around our business, maybe even get into a festival this year, let's pray that the Holy Spirit fills our hearts and minds and brings love and that our lives result in the fruits of the Spirit ministering to our neighbours, our community and our world. Jesus shows us in this passage it's not always easy and sometimes the world is not ready to receive his love. But do not be disheartened. Take courage. We cannot be separated from our God. And by staying close to God, we become more like him. And we know that what God is, is what God does. Our acts will reveal the presence of God's love in our lives and share that with our neighbours. So to end with a prayer, dear Lord, we thank you for your love. So great, you gave us Jesus to live and die for us. You chose us, one by one, to love so incredibly. And we choose you, Lord. We ask for your transforming spirit to fill us this week to meet our needs for healing, our anxiety, our sadness, and to make us feel loved. We pray our spirit-filled lives make a difference in this world, revealing you to others and lo loving others like you love us. Amen.